Now let's perform an HD scan. HD mode is ideal for small objects like our Shining 3D mascot, which has intricate details and rich texture. Now use the turntable to hold the mascot. Go to the advanced settings, choose the object mode, turn on acquire texture if you need color data, and choose alignment mode as needed. Feature alignment is enabled by default to align data by rich geometry features. Texture alignment is suitable for objects with rich and irregular texture, while marker alignment is used for objects with repetitive or less geometry features when markers are needed. Go to the left side to click Brightness button. Adjust the brightness until a reddish area appears in the upper camera window, which means the brightness is proper. You can click the lightning button here to adjust the brightness level of the texture camera, but if the environment is too dark, you can also click the light bulb here to adjust the LED brightness to achieve the best texture performance. Move to the downside camera window to set auto white balance. Align the Vega onto a white surface to auto calculate the white balance. Press the next button to access display functions. The data quality indicator shows scanning data quality, while the texture display provides real-time feedback of color. And now we can start scanning. Hold the scanner steadily and capture evenly across the object, and keep the distance bar green. Follow the data quality indicator until wanted areas turn green. When you are satisfied, you can stop scanning. Rotate and move the model for viewing. Select and delete unwanted parts and you can view the operating details with zoom in view window. Select a small area of wanted data and use Connect Domain and Invert. Delete unwanted data. Now let's go to Mesh Generation. Move to the right side. If you choose One Click Processing button, it will auto mesh using available two recommended resolutions. If you choose Mesh Generation button, you can decide whether to watertight your model, set resolution by adjusting the bar or click the side button to set a specific one. And here you can also decide the mesh smoothness level according to your design intention. And also you can redo the texture mapping if you are not satisfied with the texture. Now you can view your model, and in the upper left corner, you can view data information, including points numbers, and scan modes, and triangles, and so on. Thanks for watching!